Tallulah and this is my vlog. Yes, darling, settle down. Or not, be as excited as you want. When I said that, I imagined a Mexican jumping bean. I don't know if that's what you were doing at the moment, but maybe pretend you are doing it. All right, anyway, carry on. All right, I will, darling. Welcome, Lulu. Lulu. I've also got Sweden. Sweden is a little more silent than Lulu uh, because he's a wild animal, darling, so don't ask too many questions. If you expect your moose to be singing and dancing, then you're expecting too much. Uh, right, okay, so welcome to the vlog. So today we have a serious question from Sarah about how to be more calm in general in her life. And obviously this is an issue one would imagine lots of people struggle with. Uh, not me, obviously, I'm as calm as they come, as calm as a cucumber, come on, come, come, blah. I suddenly just saw, a, a, you know, a cartoon of a cucumber sitting in a deck chair with some sunglasses. That's how calm I am, but you can probably tell, you can probably tell. Uh, next in line for the Dalai Lama of Zen. Anyway, I know one or two things, uh, one or two tricks I have learned to become calm, Sarah, so you've come to the right place. Oh, that was, that was almost a catchphrase in there, I'm sure, a bumper sticker at least. Uh, right, so. The first thing I'm going to say about being calm came to me from my good friend Sadie, who's a wonderful singer, and I, I just put a link, I'll put a link down below, you should listen to her songs, they're very good, very calming. Um, anyway, she's a very close friend of mine, and she said that she had discontinued her smartphone, okay, because she wanted to have her daydreams back. Let that sink in, stick that in your pipe and smoke it. And I suddenly, that really resonated with me, okay? And then I became very aware that when I was outside of my house, waiting in line at the supermarket or whatever, people were like zombies on their phone, you know? And when you're on your phone, darling, if you think about it, you're caving in. It's not a good look, look at, I mean, I'm exaggerating, you know, for, for theatrical, um, you know, purposes. But essentially, people are doing this. And it, you know, I'll do you both sides because one side, but probably better side, anyway. Anyway, that's, I'm a professional, I'll show you both left and right. I'm not afraid. Uh, anyway, and the point is, you're caving in, darling, and when that happens, first of all, not a good look. Second of all, your head weighs a lot, uh, and so, you know, it can cause problems of the neck. And third of all, you're not breathing properly, darling. You're walking around like a caving in egg, you know, like a turtle or something. You wanna be out like this. Okay, now this is very important because this affects how calm you are. Obviously, if you're not breathing properly, you might start hyperventilating in the worst case scenario. Obviously, to have some sort of attack, attack, attack while you're, you know, while you're trying to look at Facebook, you don't know what's happening because you're not taking a full breath. So I would say, first off, if you're looking for a bit of calm, put down the phone. Step away from the phone. Why not have your kitchen as a phone-free zone? That rhymes. <laughs> My ru I should probably take out a poetry book. Old Possums, Cats of, oh no, T.S. Eliot. Anyway, that's a great book, by the way. Great poetry book if you're looking for one before mine comes out. Why not poetry yourself up with a bit of T.S. Eliot and then wait for Tallulah Grace and her poems? Uh, anyway, I'm just sort of off track with thinking about all things poet. Um, right, get back on track, Tallulah. Anyway, listen, poetry makes you relaxed anyway. I've got a Pablo Neruda poetry book in my car so that if I have to wait for something, I read a little love sonnet. He's written a hundred and they're very good. Uh, anyway, right, so back to the, I almost made myself laugh there, I know that you're not meant to, do, well actually that brings calm as well. That, I can say, you should make yourself laugh, try that, it's very relaxing. Um, okay, so put down the phone, step away from the phone in the kitchen, then when you may have a bit of a dull moment, say your kettle's boiling, you don't want to look at it, you know, oh, sorry, I just kicked the Cheerio box, um, a watched kettle never boils. So try not to look at the kettle, instead, if you've got a window, look out of it, darling. Take advantage of the window. Have a little look out. If you can see a cloud, good for you. And um, try to have a little thought about what was in the cloud. You know, when you're younger, oftentimes you used to lie down and have a look at shapes in the cloud. So what I'm saying, Sarah, and to anyone else that might be having near heart attacks with the level of stress they're under, is try to control. You can control more than you think you can, okay? Uh, control with the phone. And then just really allow yourself to have another daydream back, darling. Why not? Now, sandwich of the week that will help you with your calm. Okay, now obviously you're going to want turkey. Oh, if you're a vegan, do the turkey substitute. I, I can't always be giving vegan substitutes. Obviously, you're going to have to Google that on your own. This is for the meat eaters. <clears throat> Uh, okay, turkey, have the, well actually this next bit if you're vegan you can eat. Uh, so turkey because that is an inducing, serotonin inducing food. Uh, then you would want to add avocado. Okay, because avocado has a lot of potassium and that lowers blood sugar levels, or bl no, blood pressure. 
I knew I was going to get that bit wrong. But you know, one of those two things. Basically, it lowers it down, which is where you want to be. I mean, obviously not to the point of death. You obviously want a bit of bit of action in the blood. But um, anyway, right off point, avocado. Uh, oh yeah, and then lettuce. Cause lettuce. The darker the colour of your green lettuce, the more serotonin, the more relaxed you're going to be. Okay, so. If you must have an iceberg, have an iceberg, but it's better if you're feeling stressed to have cos lettuce, like the kind of lettuce that you would get in a Caesar salad, or spinach. Uh, yeah, okay, so you get all those ingredients, put them in between bread, and then you eat it. And relaxation comes almost instantaneous, so make sure there's a chair behind you in case you fall back immediately in some sort of semi-coma for five minutes. I mean, hopefully that won't happen. I'm sure it won't. If it does, Put it in the comment below. Quite interesting that you probably have serious reaction to uh, Turkey. It'd be quite good. We could come do a little interview with you if that happens to you. Um, anyway, I'm slightly off track. If you have any other questions, things that you would like covered, questions of the kitchen, questions of morality, ethics, all that stuff, even scientific things. I know one or two things about an atom. I do. I mean, not more than one or two things probably when pressed. But anyway, I could try my best. Uh, so ask me questions in the bit below. And um, thank you very much. And bon appetit.